Hello, my name is Sherry Tangbergen, and I'm the author of the DVD, The Watercolor Gourmet Cooks for You. In this clip, I'm going to show you some canvas painting tips for watercolor artists. The first thing is, this is a piece of canvas, actually. It's got a board on the back, and it's covered with canvas, and it's been prepared with gesso. This particular watercolor paint is what's called oil-based watercolors. It gives a look of watercolors, but it's actually an oil paint that you mix with water, so you don't have turpentine, and you can get the same wonderful translucent colors with this kind of paint. So this is the first thing that a lot of watercolorists use. The second kind of canvas that we use is what's called canvas board. It's a hard cardboard. It's a canvas panel. They come in all sizes and it's got a rough surface on it that holds the watercolors. And so that's another type of canvas that we use. But the most popular is a canvas pad and it's been prepared with a medium that allows any kind of watercolor, any kind of paint to be painted on it. And you actually paint on a watercolor canvas pad just the same as you would do with any color or any other kind of surface. You pick up your paint and you start going ahead and applying the color and the only difference that you have with a watercolor canvas versus watercolor paper is you see how the paint actually flows out of its area a little bit and tends to pull in towards the middle. So there is some adjustment that needs to be done by the watercolor artist if you are going to be painting on canvas. And some of the techniques that you normally use don't work as well on canvas as they do on the thicker, more um, bumpy or rough paper that the watercolor artist is used to working with. But like you can see here, I can go ahead and do flowers and add different colors to my paint. and get the same kind of look as I would with uh, watercolor paper. And it's important that you let this dry very carefully. The one thing I like about the watercolor uh, oils is that they take two to three weeks sometimes to dry, so you can work with them a little bit more and adjust the different colors. This is Sherry Tangbergen, and thank you for watching.